Early on in our conversation, you mentioned dopamine. And this is, again, something I haven't heard other people talk about. The fact that when we push a fast, I think this is one of the longer fasts, we actually impact the dopamine system in the brain. So talk about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's another really good one. So um, what I found in research, and this was years ago, uh, researching for my YouTube channel, was uh, several studies that show when you put somebody into a fasted state at 48 hours, you reboot the, um, the dopamine system. And what I mean by reboot is that you start to not only open up the dopamine receptor sites that may be saturated, but you are also creating new D2 receptor dopamine. There's several types of dopamine receptors. It's specifically the D2 receptors. Um, are You create new ones. Now, this study was originally done on people who are obese. So what they found is that overeaters, people who had food addiction problems, that when they were eating, they were not getting the same dopamine experience. So what they did is they took food out of the equation for 48 hours, and then they measured their dopamine system, and they saw these new receptors, they saw the whole dopamine system reboot itself, but then when they put these individuals back into a fed state, they enjoyed their food more, and so they they weren't needing to eat so much to get the same dopamine high. So from that research, I started looking at people who have mental health challenges. And so I went to my community and I was like, let's practice this 48 hour and let's see those of you that have anxiety, those of you that have depression, you know, uh, for, I'm, I'm obviously a little more partial to women and how the benefits that can happen for women, especially perimenopausal women, there's a lot of depression that kicks in the, those years. I've heard so many women say, I don't know why I just don't feel joy the way I used to feel joy. And that's because that dopamine system has gotten so mucked up. So what we saw in in our community was when we threw a 48-hour fast, the months after that fast, these women were experiencing more joy. So we see it in the literature, but it was built around the obese individual, and then now we've seen it with hundreds of thousands of women in our community. And it's it's pretty profound. That I think, maybe you read this, what's really cool is when we go into these longer fasts, we get more ketones. And as ketones go up, that elevation of ketones actually makes more GABA. And so you you become calmer the longer you fast. So if you can get that calm, give an anxious person or a depressed and anxious person the ability to stay calm as they go into a 48-hour fast, reboot the system, now when they come out of it, they're going to have a different uh, approach to their mental health challenges. And did you mention before when we're fasting, the BDNF gets stimulated as well? Yes. And BDNF will, BDNF, you know, the, the, the research that I can find on BDNF really came from Ramadan. So, um, which is, I don't, I don't, I didn't put this fast in the book, but um, dry fasting is what you're really looking at with Ramadan. It's sun up to sun down and it's done over 30 days and it's no food or water. And, and, and it's in all the research, it shows about 12 hours um, is where you see BDNF come in at that point. Um, but I think it comes in in other areas for sure. And just ask anybody who fasts and, and, and their ability to hold on to information is just incredible when you're in that. I, I think of it like, did you ever see that movie Limitless with Bradley Cooper? Yeah. And he takes the ago. little pill. Yeah. And he can like speak six, you know, all these languages and predict the stock market. That's what I feel like fasting does for you. It gives you that li- limitless feeling. And part of that is BDNF um, doing its magic on your brain. If you enjoyed that clip, press here for the full episode. I'll see you over there. So if you want to lose weight, I I really feel like the first thing we've got to look at is when you eat, not what you eat. Coffee may really help one person elongate their fast, and it may actually break the fast.